Hey you guys, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial here. Um, I'm going to show you guys another circuit called an RS Norlatch. Now this circuit is uh, useful and I'm going to implement it in our next video on iron doors. But let's go ahead and start this out by placing a block of dirt here. And you're going to need some torches. So we're going to place one torch here. And then we're just going to go diagonal from it, leave a space, another to uh, block of dirt, and another torch down. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is... Uh, as we can see this torch is lit up so it's on we're gonna have the power to move over and round or on to this block and as you can see it's gonna turn it off you could actually technically you could do it like this too and as you can see it'll turn it off now this is basically let's just say there's an input right here mm, this is on my server so all this stuff I have is just because of me messing around anyways say we have an input here you can press the button and we know that this will turn on which causes this one to turn off and this one to turn back on so let's just demonstrate Oops. and it turns on and then turns back off now what we want to do so basically right here what we have done is just a simple traditional repeater now if we extend the circuit to turn this one off so when we get the input here it's going to turn that off turn this one back on and since this one is going to be on, it's going to turn that one off, and this one will remain on, as you can see here by this demonstration. And as you can see, this one will re remain on. So this device, this RS Norlatch, which we have, we, have, we have now created, is remembering the fact that we have an input, and that input will stay on forever until another input is placed on this one to turn this torch off. So this can be wired to something else, just say, but we can place another, let's just place this pressure plate here. And what we can do is actually wire it. Oops. Get over here. What we can do is now actually place, let's just say I activate it. As you can see, it'll turn this torch off and turn that torch back on. So now this one will remain off again because that one is turning it off. And I can actually collect this. And now it's back into its original state. That's back off, and that's not lit up at all. So we can do this one more time. Now we have created our RS Norlatch, which remembers the input. As you can see, it rem remembers the input until another input is placed on this torch. You can do this here. And then it turns it back off, and it resets itself. Basically, this is resetting the RS Norlatch. And uh, it's useful in doing the double iron doors that's going to come up in my tutorial on Wednesday. Um, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. If you guys got any questions, post them down below. And thanks for watching.